Why Him is written and directed by John Hamburg, who is most known for writing Meet the Parents and Zoolander, and this movie follows a father who is portrayed by Brian Cranston. And over the holidays, they're invited to meet their daughter's new boyfriend, who is portrayed by James Franco. But of course, craziness ensues when he asks for the father's blessing. Now what's funny about this movie is when I first saw the trailer, I was like, oh, that's Meet the Parents, but kind of reversed. And I had no idea that the same person that wrote this movie also wrote Meet the Parents. Now, of course, first and foremost with comedies, it's the biggest question that all of these comedies have is, was it funny? And why him, although it does have its moments, unfortunately wasn't really funny as a whole. Which was a bummer because this movie has a really talented cast. A lot of people forget that Brian Cranston actually did comedy before he was in things like Breaking Bad, but unfortunately I feel like why him didn't use him to his full potential and Brian Cranston is kind of just the straight man in this movie. So he really doesn't get to show what he can do as far as comedy goes. Now the majority of this movie's jokes come from James Frank and I like James Franco. I think he's really funny, but his character in this movie is so aggressively annoying that everything he said was so unfunny to me. Now you might be asking yourself, isn't that kind of the point? You're supposed to be like, what does my daughter see in this person? But... I mean, you've seen movies, you know how it's gonna play out. Towards the end of the film, you're supposed to be like, oh, I get it, I finally see what she sees in him, and I never got to that point. In fact, the more this movie went on, the more I got annoyed by it. I thought by far the funniest part of this film was Keegan-Michael Key. I wasn't really surprised by that because he's one of the funniest actors working right now, and everything he's in, it's just a pleasure to watch him. And what's great in this film is his character could have been really annoying, but this movie uses him in a smart way, and they only use him in small doses. Overall, I found Why Him really familiar, but the movie that it reminded me of is far funnier. I found the majority of the characters annoying and really unlikable which really isn't the point of this type of film now this isn't a bad movie by any means it's just with a comedy the most important thing is you're supposed to laugh and it's supposed to be funny and I just really didn't find this movie all that fun thank you guys for watching today as you probably know a ton of movies came out over Christmas weekend so I will have reviews for all of those films coming very soon but for now thank you guys for watching today I hope you liked today's video and if you did click on the link down below subscribe to my channel to see more movie reviews and movie related things and thank you so much for watching and see you next time